Hello everybody, um, welcome to another Square video. I know, I've just been making Square video after Square video. In fact, I uploaded two on Friday. Um, now I've kind of stopped speedrunning Spore as much, but I did just want to kind of go through and show you how I speedrun and like what I do to do that, just because I couldn't really think of anything else to make. Um, but the first thing is, um, I use a timer, uh, which is called Live Split, and I've downloaded from, uh, I, I've downloaded a program that, um, pauses the timer whenever something's loading. Um, I also use a custom galaxy, um, and by the way, I'm gonna link, uh, in the video description, there'll be a link to a YouTuber, um, called King Lee Valance, he kind of, he, he made a video, um, that kind of explains how to speedrun, but I kind of just wanted to explain how I do it. Um, and then my settings um, for recording. Um, when you first load up the game, uh, it's recommended for recording that you play it in windowed mode, and um, it's at the highest resolution it can go to. Um, another thing I've downloaded is a is a patch. It's a four gigabyte patch that basically lets the game run with four gigabytes of RAM because when this game was developed uh, computers couldn't really handle four gigabytes of RAM so it was default set to only use two gigabytes of RAM at a time but now it can use four gigabytes of RAM uh, and then this is my audio stuff I turn the music all the way off because it's copyrighted really really badly for whatever reason um, but yeah so, um, after every run, you have to delete all of your creations by going to your support page, and you go to My Creations, you delete all of the ones that are in here. I don't have any in here. Um, and then, you know, yeah, so I, I run New Game Plus, or sorry, not New Game Plus, New Game most of the time, which means that no creations, um, uh, you don't have any creations, uh, like, all of the creations are just the default Max's creations that come with the game. So that means you don't connect to the online, none of that. Um, uh, but anyways, so uh, I use this custom galaxy, and we use this planet right here because it's the closest to the center of the galaxy. Um, and uh, it has the best layout, and it looks nice. Um, so what I usually do is I'll come in here, and I'll go to cell stage. I then pick an herbivore, and what I'm looking for here is an herbivore with two eyes, um, like... Uh, like right next to each other but not like these where they're um i don't know how to describe it. i'll show you when i get it so you have to refresh you kind of just back out grab herbivore and i don't think they have a carnivore that's like this so that's why i always go herbivore ah yes yeah, so one of these so two eyes that are right next to each other just like this um now there are three um herbivores that look like this um there's one uh so there's a red one that's kind of a little bit differently shaped it has two eyes like that and then there's another one that kind of looks like this, except this eye is super small and it's right next to that one. Uh, most people don't use that one just because it's super hard to grab the eye off. The reason you want this one is because you can sell the eye for a little bit more DNA points. Now the timer starts right after the play button disappears, just like that. Now then I skip these first few cutscenes, um, and then I just try and get big as quickly as possible. Um, you're going to want to leave hints on, the reason for that being that if you leave hints on, um, it, this first part, it gives you a really quick boost, and you only need five food, whereas without hints, it'll take forever to do that. Um, but you leave tutorials off, because otherwise you have to skip through all of them. After eating one to two food, a little, uh, a little cutscene will start that gives you that spike, um, but we don't actually need that, um... Or, sorry, but we don't need to watch that cutscene, you can just press escape to skip it. Uh, and it gives it to us for free. Now we're gonna go around, and I'm gonna have my hand on backspace, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> uh, I have my finger on backspace in order to call a mate. And when we grow here, if I call a mate just like that, mm, uh, because I had accidentally called the mate before, I didn't do it, but if you, as you're growing, you call a mate, it um, will kind of spawn them right close to you, and then you press escape to skip the little animation, then I put a carnivore mouth on, uh, I grab one of these and pull it off, obviously I'm doing it a lot, so just to kind of show you guys, then you press enter, any random key, and then you press enter twice, and I'll go ahead and do that, and there's going to be another little cut in here, you can go ahead and skip that, and now you can grab any food, so that's really what we're going to do, we're just going to keep grabbing food, 
just trying to get as much food as possible as quickly as possible. Um, and then in a little bit, we're going to start looking for some parts. But a huge part of the speedrunning um, is you do have to rely on RNG a lot. Um, which, which means that, like, you're kind of relying on the fact that there's going to be a creature that you want uh, that's easy to kill near you. So, like, a creature with a part that you want. It's going to be easy to kill near you. Um, now what I'm looking for right here, uh, as the first stage that pops up in, is a jet, um, which is, uh, what these guys have. Now, this guy, um, isn't gonna let me kill him, I don't think. Yeah, so he's gonna turn like that. Uh, so he's really hard to kill. If you can get up behind them without them noticing, they're kinda easy to kill. Um, but I don't really wanna bother my time with this guy, so I'm just gonna kinda move on past. Um, and now we're just gonna try and eat food as quickly as possible. If we can get a jet uh, near us, then we'll go ahead and get that. Um, but we are gonna mate once as we grow, um, just like that. And you can see they're right there, and then I can press escape really quickly. Now we're gonna put this spike on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and press enter. Very quick, just like that. Now if I grab some food, just like that. Now we're going to try and get big again. But now in this stage, what we're looking for is uh, cilia. So these little guys have um, these little kind of almost wing looking things. And we need them. Um, now these guys are really, really fast. They're kind of hard to get because uh, they get really scared of you. However, there's a carnivorous version. And these guys will usually come towards you. Just like that. And we have spikes. So the spikes, but now they're gonna run away. So they're kind of difficult to get, um, which is why I kind of just keep eating um, and try and avoid these carnivorous guys because they're kind of difficult sometimes. Oh, this guy's really close to death, but um, unless he gets stuck on something. There's another jet guy right here, but we can't. He's too big. If we kill him, we're not gonna get the part. Just gonna eat some food. Um, and everyone's speedrunning tactics are different as to, like, where they got them from and all that stuff. Everybody does it a little bit differently. Um, I've kind of taken my sort of strategy from a few different speedrunners and kind of just combined it all together. And usually I can go through the cell stage quicker. I'm just kind of taking my time to kind of show you guys. Uh, now this guy also has a ceiling, and we didn't get it before we grew last time. So we're going to try and get it right here. He's running away. He's scared. He's stuck right now, so we're going to go ahead and grab him. The good thing about that is you get the part and you get a whole bunch of meat. Which is nice. Now we're just going to try and get as much food as possible. And the next time we grow, we'll call a mate. Oh, I'm bad at life. <laughs> Okay. Sorry about that, my phone's going off for some reason. Alright, so we died there. I kind of did that on purpose. Um, but it actually refreshes everything, gives you some new food, so it's not the biggest. Um, like, down, like, bo bummer, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> like, it doesn't suck that much, basically, um, if you die. Having some hard time finding food. Now, normally 528. At this point, I'd probably just call it a dead run and uh, restart. But just for the sake of this, now we got the silly. You have to wait for that yellow thing to go all the way down before you can actually grab it. We're just gonna throw it on there, press enter. And now we just need to get food. We're not worrying about getting any parts, none of that. We're just getting food. So you're just trying to get as big as quickly, uh, as big as possible, as quickly as possible. Not really worrying about other parts. Now, fun little fact, the plants that are, like, the little plants, green, green stuff that's on its own, is worth more than the ones that are in those little, uh, groups together. Um, or buffets, as Kingly Valens calls it. Um, so... You're, you're gonna want to eat those more, and and by worth more, I mean they both give you more DNA points, and they also um, 
and they also, uh, sorry, I was focusing there for a second. Uh, they give you more DNA points, and they also raise your bar quicker. So you're going to want to go for those, if you can see them, over, um, like, these ones that are by themselves. Meat, I believe, counts as if it was just, like, an alone plant. I think they're on the same level. Alright, big again. These guys are really fast. I still haven't gotten the jet, so maybe we can get it here. Yep. Now, the jet you don't actually ever use in the cell stage. The reason that you want the jet um, is because you're going to use it in the creature stage, but you're going to add it right as you're leaving the creature stage. So we don't actually need it here. Or at least I don't use it here. Some people do use it here. So there's a glitch where you can make yourself go super fast with the jet and help you move around a lot. Um, but... Uh, I don't really like using it. I also just don't know how to use it. Um, plus this one kind of... I don't have to chase down guys with jets that are super fast and hard to get. Alright. Now this last one is super easy because these guys right here uh, with the big abdomens, they uh, give you a whole bunch of food. Because not only do they give you the meat, but they also lay eggs. And these eggs have these little guys in them. Now they kind of suck because they do kind of hurt you. But you can eat them in one bite, so it's a lot of food really quickly. It's really nice. Really great. And also, you can eat the eggs before they hatch. Uh, if you're lucky. Grab this here. And... Not quite there yet. Need a little bit more food. Oh, this might be the last one. Yep. Okay, so you're going to press escape to skip that cutscene. You press the advanced thing down here. You press check. You can also press enter. Skip that cutscene. Speed free. We did it in under 8 minutes. Then you're going to come over here. You're going to copy them. So you hold control to copy. And then you have little arms there. And you're going to grab this jet that I talked about before. You're going to put it on. You're going to press enter. And now this little cutscene is going to play. Now, 8.53 is actually a really bad time. But, um... Uh, you know, I was kind of going a little bit slower for you guys, um, and you can see using this life split program, which I'll, I'll again, I'll leave a link to, um, King Lee Valance's video on, uh, how to speedrun. Now we're back, we get that cutscene. Now you're gonna want to just look down here in the mini-map for the first nest, and then the reason we put the just on is so you can sprint over here really fast. I'm gonna press F1 to call, um, my pack using the omnivore ability that you get from being an omnivore in the stage and if you um they press one and then jump at the same time it automatically raises it all the way up which is really nice really handy these guys are level one as well alphas give you more points than regular guys and babies give you the least amount of points so um pretty much everybody's strategy hard medium easy whatever it is you um ally the first two nests you come across. Okay. Now you skip that. Now we're gonna come back over to our home base here. Zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna so I can see them over there. Oh can I see them over there? Uh maybe I can't. So that's our nest right there. So I'm going to turn around. I'm going to press backspace. It's going to call and wait. Then I'm going to click on my man right there and I'm going to jump. Sometimes it takes a second. And then it'll automatically mate so you don't have to walk all the way over there. It's very nice. Now we're going to put on these specific parts. Oh, sorry. I forgot to take off all the cell stage parts. We don't need this stuff anymore. Go ahead and put that mouth on. And remember from before when we copied, for these little arms now. Go ahead and put those on. Go and put these feet on. And we're gonna go pretty much all aggressive from here on out. Unless one very specific case happens. Spit there, and we're gonna put on wings. Wings help us do a little uh, trick that's kind of hard to do sometimes. I have some trouble doing it. Um, but we'll see if we can get it to work. And you're gonna press escape twice so you can skip the little tutorial once you do. But then we're gonna. Uh, 
socialize with the guys, and now he's in our pack. Let's come out a little bit. Now we're looking for level 2 creatures, like these guys. We're gonna press tab, we're gonna press F1 again. And then we're gonna attack these guys. Because we need to kill them. And you want to attack the alphas, because the alphas give you parts. So we already got a mouth. So I would say mouth one here. This is just what I like to do to kind of keep track of everything. I say mouth one. So um, there's four parts that you need. The mouth, hand, the feet, and the level two spit. So it's level three, hand, feet, mouth, and spit. Um, so I say mouth one, so I know, okay, I've gotten one of those parts. So it's one out of four. Uh, and then I don't know where the other dude went, we'll just get the baby. Oh, he's right there. Um, but anyways, uh, now, uh, so I have one out of four, I just do that to keep track, just so I don't accidentally, uh, level up without getting those parts. Or, uh, sorry, enter the mating sequence without having those parts first. Just keep attacking guys until we have all the parts. Now, I got wings before, and they're not the ones that we need. We don't need level 3, uh, wing. Or level 3 glide, sorry. So, I don't say when I get the wings, uh, wing to 4 or something like that. So we have, uh, we just got feet 3. So that means we need one more part, which means we need to kill one more alpha. Before I can level up. Although, you usually do not... Um, uh, level up, or sorry, mate again, evolve again, that's what I mean. You usually don't evolve again until you have, um, until you can add another pack member. Uh, and these guys level 2, they're not gonna team up on you because they're dumb, they don't like protecting each other. Alright. Now, we have all the parts that we need, we just need to get to level 3. Or, sorry, we need to, uh, level up again down here. If you, if you spit at someone, they will, uh, get a little bit mad. That's what we want. I'm gonna try and do a little trick here. If I press there... Yep, there we go. So, if you click on, um, an interactable, and then you, um... Pause and press um, space twice or jump twice. Um, sorry. There we go. Uh, and then you press jump twice, then it lets you, and then you unpause, it'll fling you forward. Um, but you have to do it very precise. Timing and all that can be a little bit difficult. Another thing I'm going to add here is. Socialization parts. The reason for this is because if we come across a rogue, we're gonna friend- we're gonna be friends with them, because we can't kill them. They're too difficult. Um, and... Uh, oh crap, I did that the wrong way around. Sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry. You have to asymmetrically move- remove one of the feet or hands first. I forgot about that. Um, and you want to be friends with them because it gives you a nice DNA bonus, gives you some more DNA, and it also levels you up a little bit. Very nice. Alright, well now we have all the parts that we need, so now we're going to migrate. Um, so while we're migrating, what we're looking for is level 3, uh... Fence. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do something. Okay, so what you do, uh, what I like to do after I've evolved twice is I'll save. And then I'll exit to main menu. Usually I do this right after coming out of the, uh, designer thing. You're gonna come over here, I'm gonna click on this guy, I'm gonna click down here to edit. I'm gonna pull the mouth off, and then I'll put the same mouth right back on. And then I, uh, I press enter, and then enter again, and it'll copy, which I just made a copy of my creature. Then we come in here, we press player, enter. And this all counts towards the time, by the way, so you want to do that as quickly as possible. And then, something really cool, if it works, there's a pretty good chance it'll work, it might not work. 
Uh, really quickly, I need to go back to my base over here. Because I want to add this guy to my pack. We go. Alright, now let's come back over here. Really quickly, I'm gonna press F1 to call my pack. And you'll see, uh, what just happened is my pack mates that I've just called are a copy of myself. Which is great, that's what I want. Okay, so we just got mouth one. Kill the alpha first. Spit two. I do this just to make sure I don't accidentally advance without having all the right parts yet. Feet three, and they're extinct. So let's keep going. Oh, these guys are mad at us too. They're level two. Now if they're mad at you and you extinct them, they actually give you quite a bit of points uh, extra still. So I'll take care of you just because. Um... Yeah, so even if they're lower level, they'll still give you more DNA points. Uh, if they're already angry with you, they're going to give you more DNA points because uh, they're supposed to be more challenging to kill. So you get more DNA points for doing that. Whereas people are neutral, are meant to be socialized with, so you get more DNA points for doing that. And we have all the parts that we need. But what we need now is DNA points. And I don't know where these guys went, so I'm just going to leave them. You don't want to waste too much time on one nest, even if um, you want that DNA bonus. Which you do, you always want the DNA bonus. What's happening right now is a meteor shower, so everybody's freaking out. They're going to not help each other. Which means it's going to be very easy for us to take advantage of people. Kill them. Just like that. See, they're freaking out, and you can see the meters falling everywhere. But we don't care about them. The worst they'll do is maybe uh, daze us a little bit, which would suck. It would ruin our time a little bit. But... Again, alphas are worth more, so you're going to want to kill them, even if you don't need the parts. They'll give you more DNA. You need DNA to buy uh, new parts to put on. Alright. I missed that off of there, it's okay. Again, this is more of like a practice run, um, while I show you guys. These guys are level 3 as well, so we'll kill them. Now, I don't have our cool little pack anymore. Because the timer ran out. So we're just going to kill these guys on our own, which we should be able to do. If our pack mates die, that's okay. We really only care about our own survival. If we die, it's basically run over. We do want to get the extinction bonus. And there we go. Keep heading towards our new base. Now these guys are level 4, you can tell because they have 40 health, so... Gonna stay away from them. I'm gonna go over here, activate the migration sequence. Now, I want to get a little bit more evolved before I migrate again. So you do two migrations. Uh, they're cocooning, so we're gonna walk away from them. It's an epic. Kinda wanna avoid him. We'll walk backwards a little bit. I wanna get a little bit more evolved, so that way the next time that we mate to upgrade our parts, our uh Yes, I don't know what I was gonna say there. Alright, these guys are Level 4, we can't take them yet. Because they're extinct. There are some people over here, though. They are level 3. Just need a little bit more points, so that way the next time we mate, we activate the migration sequence.
you want to spit because it'll let your guys charge in first instead of you. And again, always go for the alpha, it's worth more points. Okay, last guy. And now I'm gonna go mate. To activate the second migration sequence. Turn around, press backspace. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead, take that math eye, put the new math on. Put the new hands on. the new feet on, and put the new spit on. Don't worry about adding any more socialization parts. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. And then we're gonna pretty much spam escape until the menu opens up. We're gonna save again. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. Now this really, this part really is up to your judgment of whether or not you feel like you have time for it, and but because we just, um, yeah, I'm do, I'm kind of just showing everything. I'll take a little bit more time. To show you guys all this. I'll press save now. Now this still counts as new game. The reason being, it's basically just copying your creature from before. It doesn't really count as um adding any new creatures. You're not really creating a new creature. You're just copying it. Now, New Game Plus is basically you use your own creatures that you've had before, and not only Max's creations as the NPCs. Okay, well, now we're going to move on and look for level 4. I know there's a level 4 nest over here, so we're going to head back over here. Just kidding. I don't remember where these guys lived. We're just gonna head over here. Our nest location keeps jumping around. It's okay. We'll just follow this. These guys are level 4. Just like before, we're gonna... Now, we got unlucky this time. It wasn't our... Our own creatures. Sometimes it doesn't work. There's really nothing you can do about it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Sucks to suck, I guess. I'm not. I was trying to sneak through here. Trying to sneak around us. We're still going for new parts, so. And you have to go for the next level um, above you, or you're not going to get the new parts that you want. It's just the way it is. Now. Really, all we care about here is getting level, um, is getting the next, is getting, uh, level 5 speed. So that means level 5 feet. Because level 5 feet, or level 5 speed, helps you out a lot in the tribal stage, which is the tribal stage. Alright, they're now extinct. Let's continue heading to our new nest. These guys are also level 4. And there's a spaceship coming to abduct people. So they're all freaking out. They don't care. Uh, the only issue is, sometimes they get away, and if you miss your charge, then you have to kind of chase after them. It's not a huge issue. Okay. I'm gonna show you the spaceship, but... Alright, kill these guys. You can see that someone just got abducted. Sorry about that Discord notification. <laughs> Alright, we need one of more of these guys for the extinction bonus. 
come over here and get it. The extinction bonus is actually incredibly useful on this one, because these level 4 perks are really expensive. We cut them off. Nice, okay. Got the extinction bonus there. The amount of DNA you want to aim for, you really have to judge. I like to go to 400 to 500 points before I... Um... Uh, move on, but it's really up to you. And like I said before, guys that are angry at you are going to be worth more. Uh, hey guys, sorry about that. Um, oh, and I reset the timer. It's okay, it's fine. We don't actually need the timer. Anyways, we don't actually need the timer because this isn't an actual war, and I just kind of wanted to have it up there for uh, example. Get rid of it there. Alright. Now these guys are mad at us, so I'm killing them more DNA. If they're already mad at you, they'll give you more DNA. So it's worth it. Although we need one more. Can't seem to find one more. It's unfortunate. Maybe if I head deeper into the forest. No. Who is there? Do you have a death wish? Because if not, I'm going to kill you anyways. I'm a little bit hungry. Oh, we're pretty hungry, actually. I'll grab a little bite deep. Go ahead and get the extinction bonus here, just make sure we can afford everything. You want to spit at them first, because spitting does lasting damage over time. Like poisoning someone. In Minecraft. Over time, it'll keep doing damage. Just because it's easier. There we go. Now we have 447. I think that's enough. It might not be. But we'll see. All I really want here is the feet. Let's meet up with our pack. I think, have we triggered this one yet? I don't think so. Here we go. Go ahead and click this. And that. Speed Demon. Finish the creature stage within an hour. Very nice. Alright, first and foremost, we want the feet. That's all that really matters. It doesn't really matter if you unlock the other parts. As long as you have the new feet. Other parts are nice for... No reason at all. Uh, they're just cool to look at, I guess. Alright. Now, I prefer to take the wings off, because it can cause some glitches. Um, Alright. Now, we're just going to move on. If we had the timer, it would pause here as we go into tribal stage. Sorry, someone DM'd me. Uh, okay. <laughs> While we're waiting, I would like to say... um. I don't really know what to film this week, um, so I'm, I'm going to be streaming a lot instead, but um, anyways, so the first thing you want to do here is go into the travel outfitter, you're going to go ahead and add these two parts, it adds socialization and gathering, doesn't matter where, just add them somewhere, See, it's kind of look like a Demogorgon when you really think about it, alright, go ahead and exit out of that. Now you're going to send the tribal leader the closest place, because you can gather faster than the other guys. Send them over here. And we're going to get a little baby boy. You're going to want to get... Just keep getting children, until you can't get any more children. And then you worry about getting the socialization stuff. And we're going to be socializing with everyone here. Because it makes their lives easier. I have had some crashes in travel stage. If we die or fail um, at the run, I'm just going to end the video to kind of just, like, 
So what I'm doing here is I'm just spam clicking the baby. So that way, as soon as we get enough, we get it. Okay. Now what we're looking for is um, 25 food to get uh, the flute. That was just, don't worry about that, that was just the uh, other village spawning. I'm going to skip that cutscene, it's useless. Excuse me while I drink some water. Alright, one more, uh, set of food. <laughs> it's funny. That's our guys. And my little creatures. That, that's a, a copy of our creature from earlier. Alright, that's all we need. We're gonna go ahead, get ourselves some flutes. Go ahead and press enter. And I'm gonna send you two, since you're here. Go ahead and grab those. This is a chieftain. You can deliver that food. Now we're gonna go socialize. Nope, sorry, wrong thing. <laughs> These are also a copy of us. And those feet are helping us travel a lot faster here. The feet really genuinely save minutes. Now because they're only ever going to ask for flits, you can just spam one here. So that's what I'm doing. There we go. Once your friends are just going to click off and then click back on. About two seconds. There we go. The cutscene is gonna appear really quickly. About two seconds. There we go. And go ahead and bring them back here. I want these guys to be clicking more. Bring these guys back. And the Moroccans. Should have gotten children first, it's my bad. It's okay. Um, it really isn't, but. Not necessarily dead run. Pink village is always gonna hate you if you have a pink village, but an epic is going uh, is always going to attack them. That's scripted. It'll happen every time. So you're gonna go ahead and activate that just by looking at them. You can see green village doesn't like us. So the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna go to green village first. We're gonna give them a little gift. Then we're gonna go over to pink. We're gonna give them a gift as well and we'll socialize with them. I'm gonna go over to sign. We're actually gonna go to Green Village, socialize with them, and then come back, get didgeridoos, and then go socialize with Pink. Spam clicking baby again. Um, there we go. We're gonna have these two guys go ahead and grab some more rockets. And crop off their food first, of course. Can have you grab one as well, actually. One last guy needs to grab him rock. They get a little stuck sometimes, so you just have to help them out a little bit. 
micromanage them. Alright, now go grab a maracas here. Okay. Alright, now we're just gonna grab all of these guys. We're gonna head over green, just like I said. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a gift. People love gifts, obviously. Uh. Press space, it'll bring you over to any member you have selected. I have to give these guys gift first before you can specialize with them, because they don't like you. They're in the orange. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and specialize with them. reason I clicked out of this guy earlier, uh, which is unfortunate, because now I have to wait for him. Appears green is going to attack, or I'm sorry, pink is going to attack us, which is unfortunate. Hopefully we can finish up here before they do too much damage. You know, I was going to want to go friendly with these guys, because it takes far too long to attack everybody. Just general stuff. You know. Can't give these guys because they're attacking us. Go ahead and gift them over here. Taking this right now, they're going to hold them off for a little bit. Now we don't have any didgeridoos, so we're actually going to head back here. We're going to want to get some more food. Can you, my friend, go grab some food. I'm going to try to later do the same. Because we need didgeridoos. And then we can move on. I'm actually going to stop after Travis stage. Maybe I'll make a part two in the next video. Okay. One more little bit of food and we'll get to go. Okay, here we go. Oh, we need a little bit more food. For some reason, Trevor Leader stopped collecting food. Let's move back out there. So he collects food faster. That, I would have already scrapped this run a while ago. By the way, taking far too long, but just for the sake of this. Okay. Do 
to reduce. And then... Go ahead and have all of them. Everybody's gonna come over here. Now pink appears scary, but they're not actually that bad. Right? Just about. Simon says. There we go. There we go. Click off, click off, click back on. Beat the whole process, huh? If you stay clicked on, they're gonna go through this little animation of holding up signs, and you don't want that. Sorry, we're gonna have them come over to orange. Oh, it looks like we need a little bit more food. Because some animals have stolen our food. So we're actually gonna have... You yeah, can grab this. Trying to sneak away. It's okay. It's not a huge issue because we have the gift. Got another gift right here. Wait for them to drop it off and we'll go ahead and grab it. There we go. Here you go. Now I'll have everyone come over to orange again. Alright. And now we're just gonna go around and socialize. Should be quick and easy. Here we are, with our gift. We're gonna head over to Zion. You can see here we do move much quicker with these 
five feet. I mean, I guess there's nothing to really compare it to, but um, you do move really quick with the, with the level five feet. It saves seconds to even minutes of time. Look how well that it works. Actually, I want to cut you off. With one guy, we can do it a lot faster, so. Here we go. Wait a second. Dre are gonna ask a little bit sometimes. That's okay. Just like that, my game crashed. So, I told you, I've had a lot of really bad game crashes with Travel Stage. For some reason, if even with the 4GB patch that's supposed to help with the crashing, I still get a lot of um, crashes there. Um, but that's okay. Uh, it sucks, but um, I, I wasn't doing an actual run, otherwise I probably would have been more upset. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this first part. Maybe I'll do a second part of s teaching you guys how I speedrun. Spore, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.